Okay, so we've got seven stages left, and the next one on our list is stage 44, everyone's favorite category name, Inhuman Deeds. Now, unfortunately, the best leader for this category in the game right now is LR Nappa and Vegeta, who only give 130% across the board, which obviously is not ideal, right? But luckily, we can get around that by just using a full Frieza team with the AGL LR Full Power Frieza. So this is the team we're gonna go with today. We got the double LR Full Power Friezas. We have Tech Golden Frieza, uh, Prime Battle LR First Form Frieza, the Free to Play Fizz Second Form Frieza, the uh, Tech Transforming Frieza, and also the Int Third Form Frieza. So basically, every single form of Frieza is uh, represented on this team. Well, actually, with the exception of Final Form, but I mean, technically this guy goes to Final Form, so yeah, every single form of uh, Frieza is represented on this team. The items are the same as always, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, I'm sure you could still beat the stage with, you know, double Nappa and Vegeta's, but I feel like with this team, with the better leader skills, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Now, keep in mind, you can still use the STR um, LR Broly on your team and just, you know, use him as a cheat code and just destroy everything, but I feel like that's not as fun. You know, I've used him for the first two stages already, so this time I wanted to change things up a little bit. So that's why we're not running the uh, LR Broly combo. So anyways, on this first rotation, we've got the Golden Frieza, First Form Frieza, and Third Form Frieza. And I'm a little bit concerned about those attacks at the end, so I might actually have to move Golden Frieza here. But then I'm concerned about those attacks in the beginning. So I think I'm gonna keep it like this. We're just gonna pop a Whis. And uh, I think after a couple of attacks, the Third Form Frieza should be okay because he does raise attack and defense with every single super. Um, or not even super, just with each attack. So he gets 7% attack and defense and with every attack. And he gets up to three attacks. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Okay, so let's go for the Saiyan Man with Golden Frieza. I'll switch it up with this guy. And then uh, let's go back to Saiyan Man with the third form Frieza. He's not going to do too much damage in the beginning, but over time, he should be able to build up quite quickly. I think. I mean, he's 55%, so maybe not. Alright, so Golden Frieza getting close to 2 mil. He's not hitting as hard as I remember. I remember he used to hit harder. Or I guess maybe just my memory's wrong, because I'm sure the unit's the same as before. I just thought maybe he was better than he actually is, you know? Okay, so this will be interesting. Um, if Saiyan Man supers us, we're gonna be in for a really bad time. Uh, if he doesn't super us, then I think we'll be fine. Oh my god. He had to dodge the normal. <laughs> he had to dodge the normal and get hit by the super. Of course. Of course. I, why am I even surprised at this point, you know? Like, that's just how it goes, right? Oh crap, I should've put the friend Frieza in the beginning and put my Frieza at the end. Cause um, my Frieza's only at 69%, the friend's rainbowed. So that was kinda dumb. That was really dumb, actually. Hey, at the very least, we're gonna eat these super attacks like they're nothing. Cause uh, full power Frieza's defense is very good. So there's nothing to be concerned about there. Um. But yeah, I should have kept the friend Frieza in rotation. Because now we have my crappy. I mean, not crappy, he's still quite good. But my inferior full power Frieza in rotation. Okay, so now we have Goten and Trunks and 17. Uh. Hmm. So Golden Frieza, I believe, keeps his. 50 or 80% damage reduction above 50%. So we still have 80% damage reduction. He should be fine. Uh, the one I'm concerned about, obviously, is first form Frieza. 
Um, let me think. Let me think. These guys obviously can't link with each other, at least right now, until he transforms. So, who do we keep is the question. Who do we keep? I think I'm going to actually keep first form Frieza for the damage. And obviously we're going to pop a Whis, again, for precaution. And uh, let's try to kill the kids here uh, with this first attack. <laughs> Out of context, that sounds really bad. Okay, so yeah, we're going to kill the kids. And then hopefully we just have to worry about the 17 after. Back stat not as good as the first time, but we did lose the support, so it makes a lot of sense. Uh, ooh, nice crit. No additional though. If we get two. If we get two nice crits here from the other Frieza's. Okay, just need one more, and we should be good to go. We should be able to kill the kids. I need to stop saying that. <laughs> okay, okay, here we go. This should do it. That should. Oh no, that did not do it. Oh no. And they got their revenge. It's okay though. We're really not taking that much damage at all, are we? Like it's it's really been pretty chill. Um. So yeah, we're gonna kill them this time, and then I won't have to worry about the other guys as much. Especially with the second form phrase at the end, he's gonna have type advantage. So, uh. Yeah, we're good. We're good. 6.3 mil. Full power Frieza. 69% by the way, guys. Not rainbowed. Not even close. And there's the additional super, 5.2. And we could potentially get one more. We could potentially get a third super. Come on. Okay, no third super there. And second form Frieza. Got some nice attack there. Yeah. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. He is max linked because uh, I used him for link farming a lot. So that's why this guy is uh, is a beast right now. Great for Super Battle Road. Not quite on the same level as Broly, obviously. But, you know, a, a decent replacement for sure if you don't have Broly. Okay. Um... Hey, you know what? Why don't we just have two rotations with uh, AGL full power Frieza? And then we can just float the first form Frieza. Even though he hits really hard. But not as hard as full power Frieza anyway, so... This makes a lot more sense actually. Why didn't I just think of that? I should have just always went for um, the, the double full power Frieza rotation. This makes a lot more sense. Now if only he can get a crit. We would be out of here. If not, though, it's gonna take us like one more attack. There we go. All right, all right. So far, it's been very, very chill. I gotta say. Uh, we got the Pride Troopers this time. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna heal up though. Let's do Princess Snake. They're all max linked, so it doesn't matter. Um, when it comes to big bad bosses, everyone still has their big bad bosses activated. That's good. And uh, let's go for a casserole. Uh, ooh, okay, so no 18 key super, but he still hits really hard with the 12 key because it's still mega colossal. So really not a big deal. And here we go. All right. Oh, wait a second. I forgot to switch targets. Damn, uh, I was supposed to switch over to Dispo, forgot. My, eh, eh, it's, it's fine, it's fine. We'll get to all of them eventually, they shouldn't take long. This this might be the easiest run I've done so far, man. This this stage so far, I think it's the easiest one. And we didn't even have to bring the uh, Saiyan cheat code. STRLR Broly, you know, like I was trying to nerf my team a little bit by not bringing him. But I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, he's that 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 actually hit pretty hard. This boat actually did quite a bit of damage. I mean, nothing crazy, you know, nothing that like is gonna hurt us long term. <laughs> you know what I mean? But 
still, still, that 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 was um more impressive damage than I was expecting. All right, so I think we should be able to finish off Topo here, and uh, then all we got left is this bow. No need to pop any more items. Uh, we're getting at least a double super here for full power Frieza, and then the other guys should do uh, the cleanup duties. Like, design for Topo so funny. Like, did they... Yo, I bet when uh, Toriyama was, like, thinking about how to design Topo, like, how to draw him, you just saw Mr. Potato Head. Yeah, like a Mr. Potato Head toy. Or, like, his kid did. And he just picked it up. He was like, okay, we can work with this. You know, we can work with something like this. Oh, my God. Woo! Man, this bow is actually... No joke, man. I was like so chill talking about my Mr. Potato Head story. <laughs> I realized that he actually got us pretty close to, to death, man. I mean, we'll be fine. I'm a, I'm a popinator just just cuz, but we'll be fine. But still, it gave us a little bit of a scare. Just a little bit of a scare. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, yo, when he when he made Topo, he must have just like picked up either Mr. Potato Head or an actual potato and he was like this is going to be the body for Topo <laughs> this is what we're going to work with and thus we got the Topo that we know and love I mean he's not my favorite character but he's, he's okay he's okay well there you go guys that was Inhuman Deeds um man what I did to this stage <laughs> was an Inhuman Deed <laughs> like that was <laughs> That was nasty. That that was nasty. Um, so far, by far, the easiest stage. Easier than Team Bardock. Easier than Revenge. Easier than Exploding Rage. I gotta say, man, that was really chill. And the fact that it wasn't like one enemy at the end, I think was actually a good thing because it made all of the three Pride Troopers weaker than just a single target enemy like that Frieza on the Team Bardock stage or the uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. Um, who was on Revenge? I forgot. Super Saiyan God Goku was definitely for Exploding Rage, so who was rev Oh, uh... Beerus? No. Was it... Chilled? Might have been Chilled. Okay, I, I don't know, either way. Um, I think the single, like, enemy boss stages are actually scarier than these, like, multi-enemy stages. That's just my opinion, and, uh... Yeah, there you go, Inhuman Deeds, if you guys are struggling, uh, with using like Nappa and Vegeta who are not the greatest defensively and go with a full Frieza team man it's very chill it's 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 very manageable and there goes another stage down we got four down six to go now almost halfway there hope you guys are enjoying the series so far and uh, I'll be back with more for sure as always if you guys liked this video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.